a 120-year-old play having a world premiere. And the writer is one of the great writers of the previous century. Harley Granville Barker was the most amazing figure in British theatre in that century. I think they'll be amazed that it was written when it was written, but also slightly shocked that this has been going on for so long, the inequality between men and women. How can we be in 2019 and not have resolved all of it? The fascinating thing about the play is that it is so far ahead of anything of its time, uh, certainly that we're aware of written in this country. Um, the idea that a woman could go out on her own, leave her husband, set up as an artist, all these things. For me anyway, I think the one thing that it, it speaks of more than anything is the fact of the empowerment of women, or a woman in specific. Uh, uh, in a world where women were very much second-class citizens. I think just how rich this text is and how multi-layered um, and how much is going on um, in the writing and also that it, that it champions this female character that decides to break the mould and she's saying things in 1900 that are still very important now. It is a feminist play because it's dealing with that woman's experience of the world and what is expected of that woman and how she is limited by the society in which she lives. It's centred on a, on a woman's experience of the world, so I think it's relevant because it's tracking somebody negotiating a world that's not necessarily on side. I very, very much want people to have an admiration for this woman, Agnes Colander and what a pioneering spirit she is. <laughs>